there comes a point in the life of all things that develops an urge to begin again. But before some bias swings it for you, hear us out and positions in the first of the two. <laughs> Thank you. 
to watch the water that is in your life, filter out impurities and try hard to find, aquavermin, the cancers of H2O, stray fish that pass up through the plug holes. so long ago. It comes to something, but I can say with the truth, to be on your guard from freshwater snails or small salted plant life when you're in the bath. And it's no occasion to laugh when I recount the tale of when shrimp hit the slip mat and prawns got a bit involved. no occasion to laugh when I recount the tale of when shrimp hit the slip mat and prawns got a bit involved. In the lavas and soap suds and the food preferred by whales, plankton found refuge under my fingernails, so perhaps on reflection it's best not to wash and let the lessons learned here be the ways of your world. It's no occasion to laugh when I recount the tale of when shrimp hit the slip mat and prawn got a bit involved.
now that we've moved round the block a bit and seen no change in the bricks or streets, we've combed back lines that signal old new time, painted it up and it looks just fine. There's new blood in the kitchen, no dictators anymore over fat free milk. And I am not concerned with the music tying in with the words. Not now, and I never was that bothered before. Because we put money in the meter, we put things into boxes, and washing up gets done. I cook for myself what I want, and I can open any window at any hour I want.
and the hands clean. Keep fingernails in pristine condition. When touching objects pulled from the branches or things that do best under blankets of soil. A cat is not likely to ask for a wash and parsnips in shower caps are not all that common. And I can't recall the last time that fruit or harvest produce volunteered to put on its bathing costume, keep them underwater and scrub their skins clean, folded and abetted by brushes and things. them underwater and wash what you eat, folded and abetted by brushes and things. Like when a seabird falls from grace, or an orange is made into marmalade, or when a rat is forced into early sleep, we will not hold on to ID or make historians weep. Like if the music dried and died, and no ink words were left on sheets, the feel of fatigue in an organist's hands and a microphone says enough is enough I'll work with better bands Like once in a while the day is a waste hours of sound are hours too long the mics must belong to some trade union and they call a strike at the studio so no shadow ringing gets done. Or will they get back? a cow to its calf and rally behind in our hour of need. The smallest string screams and is forced back to work, no longer zipped up in its bag where it always used to lurk. It's no occasion to laugh when I recount the tale of when a year's hard work was washed into the sea and the prawn and the squid, the whelk and the whale claim half an LP with their slime and their scales. It's an occasion to laugh when the piano and synth sink into the seabed and into the mud and shellfish and starfish, the blood and the bones get mangled with strings and analog tones.
I know it is hard for a man to accept. I know it must sound like I'm out of my mind. And I know a few people who cover their ears when the truths that I sing are played on request. But it's your last chance. Ignore backing band. Attention must fall on the tones I protect. I warn of a world where cattle are grown and the only fish are caught in internets. Historically placed, this may sound absurd. They laugh at the wheel, the world on flat plate, but a dog paw can't scrape on a key or a mouse to draw attention to dinner being served at half eight. So what will they do when can opens rust? Robots decide if it's chicken or tripe, then blow, fuse, and starve. Canines to the bone, a modern day dilemma in everyday life. A problem in basic everyday life. A problem in basic everyday life.
for regular days. Order details on forms and ID. Know your national insurance number. Know your British passport number. Smash the glass out the front door from this day hereafter. Not leaving a window or hatch unlocked. Get neighbours to check that the place is alright. Put rubbish in bags and leave out in the street. One last go round with the duster and cloth and council prescriptions for all magazines. Stick your hand on the hands of the clock. Cover watch dials or rip them away like calendar pages, ticked off and dated, or life represented in three wooden cubes. Old time and new time are now separated. Sometimes it's safer to remain as you were. Photos on the mantelpiece will tell the truth. Those that will stand for no more and then start to hold on to ID, hold it close to the heart. Hold on to ID, hold it close to the heart.
on steps. <laughs> She's a carrot. Sorry, you were. I didn't remember a carrot.